Beat Indiana at the O Arena. Dr. J presenting Shaq with a Rookie of the Month plaque, and then working right away off Rick Smith's 12 points for Shaq in the first half. Indiana hustling here. The alley up to Kenny Williams, so the Pacers down just one at halftime. Reggie Miller was all over the court, going out of bounds, grabs the ball, shoots the ball, and hits. Indiana goes on a 21 to 9 run. Here's what it boiled down to in the middle. Rick Smith's the shot in and out. He did have 16 points, but not a factor in the second half. And you know who's going to win this battle. Shaq, the jam of the foul, keying a 16-5 run. He had 26 points and 11 boards, and Tom Tolbert helped out with 22 points and 13 rebounds. The Magic remain ahead of Indiana and Spectrum, and this Celtic fan getting hassled. Third quarter, Celtics on the run. Sherman Douglas to the X-Man, who just ignores Manute Bull. Douglas with 11 assists, and moments later, he's going to score. The basket and the foul, 14 points for Sherman Douglas. Fred Carter, although animated at home, not much of a factor. His team fading here, although down six. Hornacek gets them back in it. He had 24 points and 13 assists, under 20 seconds to play. Sixers down to Armand Gilliam. This for the tie, and not good. Chris Ford and the Celtics were good for the fourth straight game as they pull it out. Reggie Lewis actually made four free throws on the last unsold on the way the bullets have been playing the obvious mismatch at center Dikembe Mutombo working on Tom Gugliotta and then Marcus Liberty in the lane Lafonso Ellis fights hard for the board gets the basket and the foul 20 points for Ellis 11 coming in the third quarter Denver on the run Chris Jackson to Liberty for a couple more Dan Issel did not smile, but Matumbo and Liberty did as the Nuggets pulled out six Denver players this year. It was bad Blazer night at the summit. Where's Elsa Quench when you need her? Frustrated, the Blazers were. Cliff Robinson off with the headband in a hurry. The Rockets explode in the third quarter after trailing at halftime. Akeem spinning. This is what makes him good when they triple and double team him. He dishes to Otis Thorpe. And then Carl Herrera with a slam dunk to get the Rockets within one. Otis Thorpe on the rebound, a bullet pass. Touchdown pass to Maxwell for a three-point Rockets lead, and that is a touchdown. More Rockets, Kenny Smith to Akeem, who moves inside to score it. That was on a 14-2 Houston run. 27 points for Akeem, who came in averaging 25 a game, also 10 rebounds. Rick Adelman has said since the alleged misconduct investigation, it's been tough to field a focused team in Portland. Second half, Bulls leading most of the way. Ronnie Cycli with a big night through two defenders. 30 points, 23 rebounds, late in the second. The jumper by Steve Smith, he had 15. Miami has the lead, closing seconds, heat by four. Scotty Pippen the drive, and he is fouled, so the Bulls a chance to get within one, but Pippen misses the free throw. Glenn Rice grabs the rebound, dribbles it off his foot. It's a two-point Miami advantage. Miner gets rejected by Pippen. The Bulls come the other way. You see how much time is left. They need two to tie, three to win. Who's going to take it? Michael Jordan. Who else going to drive baseline? And this time, it doesn't go. Cycli with great defensive help. The Heat hold on to the rebound. And they beat Chicago, a major moment in Miami. The first time the Heat knock off the Bulls ever. A rare Jordan downshift in the clutch. He committed a turnover and missed his final four shot. Bucks in Milwaukee, end of the first quarter. Sam Perkins, Perkins shot clock smooth. running down, time clock running down. He hits the three, and the Sonics lead 25-23. But he was ejected for arguing a call, tossed after the technical and the Sonics might have been able to use his defense on Frank Burkowski who had a game high 32 ahead of the pack Sonics leading only by two at the break Ricky Pierce to Sean Kemp with a thunder slam he had 15 Sonics by two going into the fourth Ricky Pierce somehow gets that to go he had 27 and more from Sean Kemp he and George Carl smiling with this one as the Sonics win at 116-105. Seven Seattle players in double figures. The Chuck Daly praying that Ramil Robinson will fill that spot at point guard. And on the break, he feeds Drazen Petrovic, who gives the Nets a five-point lead. It was a three-point lead when Victor Alexander thinks and then sinks a three-pointer. That deserves a wow. He had 19, tied the game at 76, but undermanned were the Warriors. Sam Bowie the rebound. Derek Coleman the long pass to Chris Morris who gives the Nets the advantage, and then Ramil with the harm, and then the hoop. He scored 20. The Nets win it. Golden State, once again, shorthanded. Robinson with six assists. Derek Coleman made just five of 18 shots from the floor.
fifth straight with that right thumb. But Terrell Brandon has really taken over at the point and done a good job. Here the lob to Gerald Wilkins, who had 23. The Cavs up five. Brandon had 12 assists. This time he saves to Larry Johnson. Under your own hoop, you don't want to do that. Cavs go on a 20 to 8 run. Brandon to Nance to Brad Doherty. Doherty, who had 25. And the Cavaliers really work the ball around well. Elo ends up hitting on the jumper. 40 assists for Cleveland, and that's a, a trait that uh, Lenny Wilkins would like. Off the scramble for the loose ball. John Stockton is underneath that pile somewhere, and he finds Tyrone Corbin for the hoop. And the Jazz are up by a dozen. Late second quarter, Kenny Smith for three. Got it. He had five three-pointers in the first half. Rockets down by only four after two, and they're ahead by one after three thanks to Vernon Maxwell's bombs. Early fourth quarter, Carl Malone gets thrown out of the game for arguing with Jack Madden. And Akeem Olajuwon takes over, going over Mark Eaton, and then around the big guy again. Akeem was 17 in the fourth, 38 for the game. The Rockets win it by nine. That is 13 in a row for them and 10 straight at home. Portland at San Antonio, and in the first quarter, Terry Porter was mighty hot. From outside, standing on the stripe, nails it. It was tied after one. David Robinson, somebody get in his way, would you? Spurs by six of the half in the third quarter. It is all Spurs off the steal. Avery Johnson to Antoine Carr. It is an explosion. Oh, the humanity. The Spurs lead by 17 in the third, fourth quarter. Sean Elliott drives to Dale Ellis, lays it up and in. John Lucas's guys roll away with it, winning it by nine. Cliff Robinson, 28 points in the losing cause in the Palace. Terry Mills goes off in the first quarter, seven for seven from the floor. He pumps and over Scott Williams. He hits. Pistons lead by as many as 17, but a certain Mr. Jordan may have something to say about that. With the line drive going down, he has 10 in the quarter. And then Jordan does it on the defensive end, the steal, and the feed to Daryl Walker. And it is tied after three. Joe Dumars takes the high route to a milestone. More on that in a minute. It's tied at 95. Chicago down by one late. Scotty Pippen tries to put the Bulls ahead. It rings out, goes over the top. That's out of bounds. Down two, Phil Jackson's chance gets... Uh, Phil Jackson's team gets one more chance with four seconds left, but B.J. Armstrong's 55-footer isn't exactly the way he drew it up. And the final is Detroit 101 in Chicago 99. Joe Dumars clears the 10K mark for Saturday. John Starks hits the three, but watch the elbows as Patrick Ewing and Rick Smith square off. Patrick points fingers, technicals are assessed, bench is clear. In the second half, there would be more ugliness. The Knicks lead by as many as 18 before the break. Reggie Miller, though, cuts the lead to four with a fall away. He would later get tossed after a second technical. Time expiring, first half, starts for three, nails it. Knicks up by 14 at the break. Second half, Ewing, nice move along the baseline, 29 points, 10 for 12 from the floor for him. A little bit of playground ball. Anthony to Starks going reverse in your face, off your head, and the Knicks win by 31. The Knicks have won six in a row now in 20 of their last 25. They've beaten the Pacers three times this season. From outside, drives, finger roll, no, Sean Kemp, yes, 27 for him. Sonics by one at the break. Orlando takes off behind, guess who? The Shaq, 29 points for him. The Magic up by four. The Sonics come back. Ricky Pierce pulling up from the baseline, sticks it. Sonics up by five. Kemp does it on D, says no to O'Neal, and the Sonics hold on to win it by eight. Orlando now has lost five out of seven. Sean Kemp, 27 points, 12 boards. The Sonics now eight and two all in the second. The X-Man answers, turn around, got it. Celts down by only two. Larry Johnson going in heavy and a nasty look. The Hornets by three. Fourth quarter, last chance for the Celtics down by three. Sherman Douglas, the bomb, short. And the Hornets get their first ever win at Boston Garden, 96 to 93. Alonzo Mourning, 25 points, 11 boards, four blocks in Atlanta and they are still shoveling down south so not too many made it to the Omni and this is what they missed. Dominique going behind the back laying it up and in and a six point lead at the half. Time running out in the third. James Worthy for three. Yeah he called the glass. Certainly he did. Lakers down by three into the fourth. Mookie Blaylock flashes out makes the steal and sets up the big guy. 14 assists for Blaylock. 
Wilkins says, I'll take it from here. 24-footer hits in garbage time. Doug Christie shows what he can do. He'll be a force in this league. Unfortunately, his team wasn't much of a force on this night. Atlanta wins it by 10. The Hawks have won five in a row. That's their longest winning streak of the season.